download the Sugrek from SharePoint Maven. And in this quick video, I would like to show you how you can uh, easily generate uh, different types of email addresses uh, for a channel and teams. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So if you um, click three dots next to a given channel within a team, uh, one of the options is get email address. And let me click that. And essentially, it generates an email address for that particular team. Now, why would you want to generate an email address uh, for a given team? Well, simply, if I want uh, to be able to, to allow the users uh, to email my team and essentially whatever they type in and the subject of the email and the body of the email will be populated um, in uh, within the post that within a, a given uh, channel. So let me copy that. Let me just uh, demonstrate this uh, to you. So we're going to um, send a new email. I'm going to uh, paste that email address I just copied. And let's just say, I don't know, some project status, uh, you know, some, some uh, text, uh, attachments, whatever you want to send, and um, click send, all right? So let's now double check what's happening in a Microsoft Teams now that I sent an email. Look at this, I'm inside of uh, Teams. Uh, I'm inside of this uh, you know, channel, of course, and this whole email uh, got incorporated into uh, my um, you know, chat, essentially, in here for historical reasons. Um, so that's very convenient. However, what I kind of uh, skipped is that you can actually generate three different types of emails. Uh, email addresses. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So again, I'm going to click get email address. And under advanced settings, you can actually choose from one of the three. Now, by default, by default, it generates an email address and it says only members of this team. So that means let's say there are 10 team members here. Uh, only those 10 people can email the channel in Teams. Um, if you maybe want to avoid spam, right? you probably want to choose this option. Um, you can also choose anyone uh, can send uh, emails to this address. And anyone literally means anyone. So if you want maybe to share it with uh, some external parties, maybe your contractors, consultants, you know, vendors, clients, uh, you can do that and they can essentially email directly uh, a given uh, channel. Uh, however, there is also a bit uh, safer option. So for example, I want everyone, but you know what, uh, there are maybe specific domains. So uh, for example, let's say you're doing business with a particular company and um, you know you, you would specify their domain, you know, like Microsoft.com or, or whoever the vendor is, right? Uh, you would specify their domains and uh, you have to separate it with commas, but essentially this is a bit safer option, right? <laughs> if you want to avoid spam. So whatever option you choose, just, uh, you know, uh, choose that option, click save, you know, obviously copy that email address, and now the users will be able to uh, email that channel. Now this functionality uh, is available on uh, pretty much any type of channel. All right, so uh, if you notice I'm, uh, um, right now, um, I click the same uh, option with the shared channel. Now, what's interesting with the uh, shared channel, again, we have all these different options, but, uh, you know, remember, because shared and private channels, they have uh, their own unique kind of membership, right? Um, so it's not the team anymore, it's uh, whatever the channel is, all right? So let me see if I have any private. Yeah, let's take this private uh, channel and let's dub double check and make sure that we have the same exact options. Uh, so just like that, all right, again, with private channels, same thing, because remember private channel is pretty much a subset of users. So if you had like 10 people on a team and then uh, maybe you created a private channel for three of them, uh, essentially only those three people will be able to email with this option. So just wanted to show you that um, uh, it's uh, slightly, slightly different, but same idea, same idea. The good thing is that this email addresses are available on all three types of channel, you know, standard, shared and 
private. Um, but uh, other than that, I mean, in my opinion, it's very, you know, convenient way, you know, if you want to share um, that email address with, uh, co you know, maybe your colleagues, but those you collaborate and they, even if they're not the member of the team, they can still email the channel and, you know, populate some information. So you have it here for historical reasons. All right. So that's all I really wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye.